Today in our 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we've got out the Swagman XC2. We're going to test fit it and see how it stacks up against the rear of the vehicle here. Now the XC2 is designed for use with inch and a quarter or with two inch hitches. It's a two bike platform style rack. Part number on it is S64650. Now this is a pretty easy rack to use. Not a lot of hassle with getting the bike loaded and unloaded. See we've got a front wheel hoop, a rear wheel hoop, and then a frame clamp. Those are going to be the points of contact. The frame clamp, nice soft material here. It's going to have some give to protect the frame, but still, as you can see, holds it really nice and steady. To get the bike off, we'll simply just lift up on the hooks here, pressing in on the tabs here on the side, then we can lift that right up and off there. We'll give you a little better look at those wheel hoops and also the frame hook. Now these are going to be fully adjustable in and out of the arms here, as well as our hooks. As you can see, they're adjustable independently of one another, different heights on each one to get them matched up really well. As a convenience option, we've got a pin located right down here in the middle. Pulling that out is going to allow us to rotate our mast into a stored position here. As you can see, more than a rough room there, so we can get this cargo door open and get stuff in or out of there. Just pull that pin and rotate it back into the upright position. Then we'll figure out our measurements. Here at the very back of our wheel cradles, we're going to have about 18 and 3 quarters of an inch worth of ground clearance. Overall, the rack's going to add about 19 and a half inches to the rear of our vehicle. And at the closest point down here, it's going to be about 8 inches away. But the shank's actually going to make contact with that receiver tube, so it'd never actually go up and make contact with the car. So we wouldn't have to worry about that. Now, as another nice feature, we've got an additional storage option. It's really going to make this thing compact. Another of the same style ball detent pins there. We'll pull that. And we can rotate our cradle arms right up here. Reinsert the pin to hold those into position. And that'll really give you a good idea of just how compact of a rack this is when it's stored. This is going to allow us to have a lot more room walking around our car, limited space in the garage or something like that. Looks like we'll have about 15 and 3 quarters of an inch worth of ground clearance here now. It's like the closest point's going to move in a little bit to about 6 inches, but again, no worry about making contact. And then the overall length that we've added here, that's going to stay the same. Now the XC2 is a nice stable rack when it's heading down the road. We've got an anti-rattle bolt that draws that shank right over against our receiver too. As you can see, no wiggling or no play. Then we just secure it on the other side with a clip there. Now that we've had a good look at the XC2 and we've seen how it's going to work on our 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee, let's take a look and see how that rack performed when they had it out on the test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 